Okay guys, how are you doing today? Today I am back to do something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to show you how I make my fruit smoothie. This is just one of the ones um, that I make on a regular basis. And normally when I make it, I'll make some into like um, popsicles for my grandbabies. I have a few grandsons and they really love them. So um, this is something I do when they come over and stay for a few days. Um, this one is a really healthy snack for them. So um, try and let me know what you think. Today I'm going to use um, almond milk. And you can also use this with yogurt also. Um, that I like to make it with yogurt. And that's something I'll show you in the future if you want to see it. I have some organic strawberries. And some blueberries. I don't think they're organic, but... And um, I have some honey. And when I buy bananas, I'll freeze some of them, you know, just for my smoothies. And for my green smoothies also. Okay, so let's just get started. I'm going to pour about a cup. I'm just going to a cup and a half of the almond milk. Okay. And we'll just chop our strawberries right into the mix. And I'm using two rather large strawberries. Um, but if you have like small, it depends on your taste. I really love strawberries, but I didn't go overboard because I don't want it to taste solely like strawberries. But I'm using five this time around. But I would advise if you have like small to medium, maybe about six or seven. If they're really small, maybe eight. Then like I have a handful of strawberries, I mean, sorry, blueberries. For some reason I want to say raspberries, but yeah. A couple more. I have them here in a bowl. Okay. And so now what I'll do is add one tablespoon of honey. You can add more if you like it really, really sweet. But a tablespoon works for me fine. And what I'll do, let me get the lid, is blend this up before I add my banana. Okay, here comes the noise. Then I go to liquid fly. Fine, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Take the top off. I wrap my banana. I wrap my cold banana. Break it up in a couple of pieces. Put the lid back on. And let it rip. And now the liquid fire. Okay, even though I have the blueberries in there, this is really going to taste like strawberry banana, and it's really delicious. Uh, you can always add apple. I do have apples in there. You can add, um, well, in my refrigerator, but not in the mix. Um, you can add uh, apricots, peaches, um, any fruit that you really want to add to it. So you can come up with your own recipe. Let me get a glass so I can try it. 
try this out. Okay. See if it needs anything. Just want to taste a little. I taste more bananas than I do strawberries, so I'm going to add a couple of more strawberries. Give these two a quick rinse. Pop those in. It's really sweet, but I still have a little bit of honey left in my spoon here. Okay. And let's let it go again. So now what I'll do is pour some in my Pyrex. And I have this little um, plastic container, little tray, little popsicle tray. Oops. That I found it. Family dollar for a dollar. And I'll just fill those up. Not all the way to the top because it swells when it freezes. And it'll push the sticks out. do now is just take the little sticks and put them in and freeze them you get two of each color but I have two sets of these so they're kind of Mitch Mac but yeah here we go and so what I'll do is freeze these overnight and tomorrow I'll pop them out and let you see what they look like and as far as my drink, what I'll do is add probably about three or four cubes of ice to this and have myself a smoothie. So, um, you guys check it out. Let me know what you think. And um, if you're interested in seeing more recipes like this, let me know. Alrighty. Well, I thought about it and I figured you guys might want to see the ice. I put about four cubes of ice in there. Take my lid, put it back on. All right, and then I'll go to crush ice. And pour myself a smoothie. Oh, there's a chunk that I didn't get, but that's fine with me. But there you have it, it's very delicious. Give it a try. You won't regret it. Alright. See you guys next time. Okay, everybody. I'm back. It's the next day. And, um, it's been about 18 hours since I froze these. As you can see, they're good and hard. And it's in this tight. So what I'll do now is run water along here in the bottom. Or you could set it like in, um, some tepid water, warm water, until it loosens up, but I'll do that and I'll be right back. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm back and I just finished running water and you can see that they're loose now. So all you do is just take it out and there you have it. You have a popsicle that's all natural. Um, honey is in this, so that's the preservative. But there's no nasty chemicals or per preservatives that you can't pronounce. Um, strawberries, bananas, blueberries, honey, and almond milk. And remember, I did say you could do this with um, um, yogurt. <laughs> Had a brain fart. But yeah, you can use it with yogurt too, but that's it. And um, I'll be doing more of these vi videos too, so look out for those as well. Alright, see you guys later.